Um, whether they're just, you know, going with the thing or you know, Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can see that in the Just, you know, even if you cut it with a, uh, like a number of blades built into a fine yeah. framing. Um, oh, and it, the thing I love about it is it, it, it sticks down really well. You don't get that bleeding under the edge yeah. unless, unless you're really sloppy. I try with it. Like, I, I've, had, I've just finished getting this in a couple of 900 class scale. Uh, diesel's just fine. I was from uh, KFBA ones. Mm -hmm. I when I was doing the silver up and the front I had a little bit. I think it was my first attempt at doing some masking and stuff like that. And I just didn't have it rubbed down and yeah. hardened up. And then I was wearing a tip that could do it to spray the air for the colour that you've got on the yeah. you Okay, the other, the other one I've heard, um, so it's 40 from the tap at the moment. Um, the other thing I've heard is uh, clear lunch over the line where you're going to. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the other thing I've found is um, burnishing it with a flat toothpick. Yeah. Um, because then the wood's not going to damage the, the detail, yeah. but it's just enough that it will you know, press down on the tape. Yeah. And the thing I like about that yellow tamir tape is that when you, when you burnish it, it, it goes that darker colour of what's underneath. Yeah, so you can and so you can tell that which is the lighter yellow, which is the one that's been burnished, and you can see if you've missed a gap. So right. that's where I find it's just such a handy property. Yeah. And, um, um, the other thing I used on, on these, which I was really pleased with, but I don't know if you silver, because I used bean oil. Oil? Yes. That kind of really well. I'm hoping it's going to stay down once it's done. Yeah, varnish and everything. That's the top of that thing. thing on. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it would. Yeah. yeah. It certainly got a fantastic. The weirdest thing I need in the Yeah, it'll shrink once it's done. I'm going to keep these out here. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like here, you know, there's, there's just so that's why it's taking forever. We normally are in a rush, and I thought, no, it's time you can just spend the time. Yeah. I might have it back. 
All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that little intro there of me going to Train World. So, um, as you could definitely tell, it was quite a big place. Um, and like saying, if you want to go there, it's at a station called North Brighton. Um, if you want to um, find out what uh, metro train you need to catch, you um, need to catch the Sandrin Ham um, service to get to North Brighton. So anyway, I obviously did get a few things, um, which I'll show you now. The coolest being this free pack, it's um, the V-Line, uh, V-Line free pack uh, with the grain wagons, $180 it was to get this, um, done by Train World, as you can see, really like the box, and if it looks very, very nice. So yeah, that's a good picture. Uh, the second item <coughs> is this. This is done by Atlas, I heard. Um, I used to know the name of these carriages, but I forgot what they were called. Uh, but that um, is um, that also shows you uh, what the bogies look like. So yeah, so that's that. And the fair one, which I don't mind, which looks kind of cool. It's an Affen one. Uh, it's a Affen Hopper, which looks very nice, of course. That was $46, and uh, this one was about 60 Close to it, sorry, $55. <coughs> uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. So, um... So yeah, so that's all the stuff I got, so I'll just put them in the camera. Well, that obviously did cost quite a bit. Uh, anyway, we are going to open all of this. The first one we're going to open is um, this. Uh, just got to find where I can open it. Looks like it's here. Yep. Okay, uh, so how do you open it? Uh, you should open it like this, I think. Well, what am I doing? No, 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 it's here. Yeah, there you go. Well, nor did I actually damage the box there a little bit. Uh, There she is. Now, how to how do you get this out? Oh, oh, this looks very nice. Look at that. I like saying I forgot what these carriages were called, but yeah, doesn't she look pretty nice? You can obviously load these carriages with something <coughs> that I know. Uh, just going a little bit closer. So that's some of the details. You know what I might do? I might actually um, I'll just show you what the carriage looks like. Um, just like that. Uh, what I will do is I'll just put this carriage on the thing for now on my um, bench. That way, no detail can risk falling. Uh, there we go. It's like obviously like a dream. What I'll do is I'll open the carriages and then I will uh, do. I'll open the carriages, show you what they look like um, in a sort of in a good fashion, and then after when I um, open them all, we'll have a closer look with detail. So that I think is a bit more good. So anyway, this will be the second one we'll open. Uh, as long as I can. This one seems to be a bit hard. Right, do it this way. Yeah, it looks like this one's going to be a bit better. I hope. Very 
be hard. Oh, geez, sorry guys. Uh, here, here we go. Oh, good that dollar sign will go off. Alright, so there she is. Let's open her up. Looks like you get some instructions with it, yep. Let's have a quick look at them. That's obviously all the writing. Uh, but this will obviously show you how it runs. Like all the bits and pieces of it. I hope that the camera is focusing on that. Uh, anyway. Again, how do you open this sign? It's like this. Just careful, I don't damage it. Wow! This is way longer than the other one that I have. Uh, that's its number. Uh, it's got knuckle couplers, obviously. Metal wheels, the top looks very good. It doesn't have that much weight to it, so that can be maybe a problem. I guess it just depends how it runs on the uh, rail. So, anyway, like I said, we'll have a bit more closer detail later. I'll just put this one on the shelf. So now, I'll um, pack this stuff away in a minute. Now it's time for probably the biggest and the most best part. So, where is the opening? Oh, this looks like one. Yep, there we go. I'm actually kind of excited to have a good look at this. There you go. Uh, yep, just lift this off. And here she is. Well, here they are. Uh, how do you get this out? I'm pretty sure you just. Well, that's cool. You've actually got um, another side of that. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, is that sticky tape? Oh, yeah, it does. Well, that's just um, surprising. Is that sticky tape? Yeah, it does all over. Darn it. I'll pause the camera for a minute and I'll be back. See you in a minute. Okay, time to get this unwrapped and here she is. What am I saying? Again, here they are. Uh, so you get these out like this. Just be very gentle. Wow! Don't they? Oh wow, that is very beautiful. These are very nice, man. <laughs> These are very nice. I absolutely love them already. They're beautiful, especially the V-Line logo. Uh, sorry. Um, you got all the, again, the fine details. You also have like, this metal type of chain, which looks very nice. Just put that in there. Um, and I'll get the other two out, and we'll have a little bit of a look at the orange one in a second. So, put that in there, just move the box out of the way a bit. Excuse me, sorry if you just heard that. <laughs> and the last one we'll have a little bit of a look at. So, we've got the V-Line logo underneath. Uh, again, uh, the metal chain, and look at this. This looks very nice, doesn't it? I love these hoppers, and considering for only $180, you get it's quite a good deal, in my opinion. Uh, so, anyway, that's all three of them. 
So anyway, um, I will now change the camera and we'll have a little bit more of a closer look at the detail. Um, I'll pack this stuff up now and then the next time you see me we'll have a look at all these carriages. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're going to have a look at these two carriages first. See what details they have and then we're going to look at the, um, the grain hoppers. So anyway, if we uh, zoom in a little bit. You have got the brake wheel, the brake chain, uh, the special brake thing at the front. Uh, you do have some numbers on the top there, whether it'll focus or not. I don't know. There you go. Now I forgot to tell you, it's a Union Pacific uh, freight car. Uh, it has a knuckle coupler, uh, the side detail, it's just incredible how much printing they have on these things. Uh, and then you got that. It will be the same on the other side, but then you also have the Union Pacific. So, yeah, there you go. The other side, totally looks the same. I'll actually just um, detach that one. Um, I'll let this one just roll. Uh, but, you can see you got a bit of detail there. It's sort of the same. Uh, yeah, it looks very nice. Got beautiful handrails and all that. <coughs> uh, the top, not too, too detailed, but still pretty good. So anyway, we're going to now move on to this carriage. Okay, so this carriage, um, we already had a little bit of a look at it, so the side is roughly the same. Uh, totally nothing too 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 special about the sides. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have a look at all the printing work in a minute, but let's have a look at the front first. Got all those beautiful handrails and uh, brake chain. <coughs> Sorry. Got the ladder that goes up there. Got all this information. It's a CN one. As you can see, it's a CN. Uh, it's a CN freight car. Now I do I do remember that I heard the name of this carriage, but I forgot what it was called. Um, I'm pretty sure any American fans that know this carriage, you would you would definitely, um, if you want, you can tell me what this particular carriage is called. But I think it had the word beam in it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the front. Uh, the sides have that cool little thing where you know if you load the um, freight carriage. If you don't load it like um, on the both ends properly, then she can topple over, and then if a person's right there, I don't think it'll be coming out of there too happily, or probably not at all. But let's not think that. Uh, anyway, uh, metal wheels, good axles. Uh, you got some printed work on there, and definitely need to get a new camera soon because this is definitely not focusing whatsoever, as you can see. <laughs> that was my fault then. Uh, this camera is annoying sometimes. Doesn't really work properly. That runs way too small for the camera to see, but got that. And got some printer work there that you can't see that. That, that, and the number. Let's see again. Same on the other side with uh, the writing. As for the bottom detail, uh, which you can obviously see it. That one wasn't it? Uh, there you go. That's that side. Alright, so the top, not too, too special again. Uh, if you look on this side, it's totally the same, but just no brake van or the brake. So, anyway, that's the end of this carriage. Now we're going to have a look at um, one of these, and then we'll have a look at the yellow one too. Alright, so I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so the next one we're going to be looking at is one of the um, V-Line hoppers, and then we'll have a look at the grey one. Uh, anyway, so again, just zoom in a little bit. It does seem like that you do have some metal detail there, so that's obviously good. Uh, you have the knuckle coupler, the brake, handle, the ladders, and you have that Y thing, which I'm not sure what it's talking about. Uh, the sides, <coughs> um, it has the word V-Line on it, obviously, because... That's what makes it special, I guess. Uh, you have some printed detail there. Uh, the other side. Tentally, again, just the same, less detail though. Uh, and the frame is not too, too um, detailed. Top, again, not too detailed, but okay. Um, so that's essentially what these two hoppers have. Um, now we're going to look at the grey one. So same with the yellow one. It's totally the same shape and it has the word Vila on it, but it is a little bit more special. It's got quite a cool, quite a few cool things on it. So anyway, we'll have a little bit of um, a look at this. The brake van, as you can see, is white and not just yellow completely. Uh, you have the chain work and all that there. It looks absolutely realistic, which is good. Uh, you have the F, which I'm not even sure what that even means. Uh, you have this thing, which I'm not sure what it even means as well. Uh, the word V-Line. Uh, the other side is, again, same, but just less detail. The top is pretty good, but still normal. But here's the cool part. It has another side on it, which has a different paint scheme on it. So, as you can see, look at that. Isn't that cool? So again, uh, it's essentially the paint scheme on this side. So there you go. Whatever that says. Um, and the other side, is it different or is it the same? Oh, it's essentially the same. Like I say, I've never seen a carriage that actually does have um, this type of two different colors on each side so that's pretty cool in my opinion so anyway that was all the stuff I got uh, where's it have a carriage I'll get that up uh, move this and there so there you go so that's all the stuff I got so that's five new carriages that's 24 of the carriages that have metal wheels that I have now in my collection um, I hope you guys did enjoy I might do a video soon enough where I'm playing with them and having them connect up to a train um, but until then, I hope you did enjoy the video and um, and seen the um, uh, the uh, the train world shop. I'd recommend going there because it's pretty cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye bye.